Yeah, the first thing I would say to somebody who's never fundraised is that is this the idea of like the self doubt of whether whether there is funding available for whatever you're doing, right? Um, and I can tell you the number one rule or the one number one truth about fundraising is that no matter who you are, you know, you grew up in, no matter who you are, no matter what project you're building or doing, there is somebody on the face of this earth who is willing to give you all the funding you need to do that, all right? Um, it doesn't matter, you know, whether you're making a film, you know, uh, whether you're making a video game, you're writing, a, you're making songs, you want to put together a concert, you're building a startup like I am, you know, a real estate deal, this deal, that deal. Everything is a deal, everything is a project, right? And people invest in all kinds of projects. It's not like startup fundraising is different from any other fundraising, right? This concept of a startup, I think is kind of bullshit because it's really just a company. You're building a fucking company, right? Stop calling it a startup. I mean, you have to say it because like it has a certain meaning now and people kind of get it, but get out of this idea, get, get out of your, this mindset that you're building a startup and startup fundraising is done in a certain way. You know, the people at, um, Right, somebody's cutting grass. Uh, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Maybe you can see them in the, in the background when I walk by. But uh, that's pretty cool. I guess, you know. Uh, yeah, so sorry that threw me off. What was I saying? Yeah, no matter what you're doing, right, there's somebody who's willing to give you funding, right? And the goal of your the process, the whole jo the whole job as an entrepreneur, as a fundraiser, is to find that person who's willing to give it to you, and basically present yourself to them. Like, hey, I am here. This is what I'm doing. Is this interesting to you? Would you like to you know help us? Whatever. That's literally the entire like. That's literally ninety nine point nine 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 percent the game is to find that person right i'm assuming you're not somebody who's already i mean actually no matter how big you are or how successful you are this is something you have to do right and the best examples are actually from the film industry so for example bradley cooper i hope most of you know bradley cooper this actor who was you know in hangover series and all right Bradley Cooper, even after winning Oscars, hey doggy, no, that dog was staring at me. Um, he wanted to make this film called Maestro, right? About this uh, dead uh, classical music composer. And the film, he, he wanted $100 million for making the film, right? About a, a niche dead classical music composer he was very famous of course like the, the classical music composer was very famous but you know it's not like it's a household name today right and uh, for him he talked to sony paramount you know all these kinds of studios he took the project he took his pitch and he just knocked on doors one by one and he got rejected by many people sony refused to even take a meeting with him and eventually the guy at netflix said uh, you know what, Bradley, this thing is completely crazy. And of course, it was a crazy idea, right? If Sony uh, wouldn't even take the meeting with him and he had done many nice projects with them. Um, but the guy at Netflix said, this thing is completely crazy, but your enthusiasm is infectious. And so let's do it, right? Um, Starbucks, right? It's, I mean, you can't, you couldn't explain Starbucks to me even today even though it exists and it's very successful, you couldn't explain the concept of Starbucks to me and pitch me on Starbucks convincingly as an investment today, okay? Um, if Starbucks, like, if you wanted to do something, like that. anyway, Howard, I don't know what his name is, Howard Stern, no, not, not really, but whatever his name is, he got rejected by like 240-ish people before he got his first investment, 
all right and uh, his first angel investment when he was when he wanted to do starbucks in the 80s late 80s and one of those investments actually came from a local doctor who gave him 100k right hundred thousand dollars came from a local doctor for building starbucks uh is so you know what no matter what you're doing for example like the research gate right we one of our competitors in a way research gate this company is building a social i mean they built a social network for scientists like it's like it's like my space for scientists right you know who got who they got funding from they got 40 million dollars from bill gates right uh, of course you know bill gates is a household name and everything but he's not the first person you would think of to build a social network for startups right but anyway uh there's somebody on the planet who will fund what you're building and the number one rule of fundraising is to not give up until you find that person right um in fact i challenge you if you talk to 300 people if you go out and pitch seriously pitch 300 people on your project and you don't get your funding if you don't get any funding come back and comment on the video and i'll personally get on a call with you right to figure out what the fuck you're doing without out be really surprised not even right i would be fucking surprised if you talk to 300 people you actually go through 300 people which means you have the conviction to um, to actually look for funding you're not fundraising for like a you know like as a party trick right it's not a joke so if you go and get rejected through a list of 300 people and you still don't get your funding then i would be i would be very interested in talking to you like how did you manage to not get funding after talking to 300 people right so now for me for myself until i've talked to 300 people for anything right i don't even give myself the the permission to complain or the permission to say it's not possible or it's difficult or whatever right after you talk to 300 people and you end up with nothing right which is unlikely then come back and say and tell me like you know oh it's not working out or whatever right i would be i would be interested in talking and hearing exactly what the fuck you've been doing that you couldn't manage to get funding after talking to 300 people right so anyway that's what i'll leave you with uh, this is the first video today um in the next video we'll talk about some more issues right um so there's a lot that i would teach my younger self or you know uh tell also tell my older self right my future self just by saying it on out loud on youtube i also want to kind of like prepare my older self my future self for more fundraising and more deal making in the future so i don't like bitch out right um yeah so anyway hope you're having a good day and i'll see you later